And he's being sarcastic. <laughs> Wrap it carefully round with hobbies and little luxuries. Avoid all entanglements. Lock it up safe in the casket or coffin of your selfishness. But in that casket, safe, dark, motionless, airless, it will change. It will not be broken. It will become unbreakable, impenetrable, irredeemable. The alternative to tragedy, or at least to the risk of tragedy, is damnation. You'll never put your heart out there. You need sincerity, transparency, vulnerability. So here are my last words to you tonight. You were designed to have deep relationships with others. And for guys, it's harder for us, guys. I read a statistic once that said, it takes three hours before men actually get real with each other. Yeah. Exactly. Three hours! Mm -hmm. You gotta put us up on a mountain somewhere. Mm -hmm. And for three hours, we'll talk about everything from ESPN to mm -hmm. this and this and this, and it'll take three hours before we actually start having some real talk. Three hours. Tres horas. Here's another thing. I'm challenging you to get in deep, trusting community with others. Whether it's connect groups, just God-honoring friendships. And I'm telling you, retreat, one of the best, best places for you to go and connect with each other on an intimate, real level. You're stuck on a, some cabin for three stinking days. <laughs> Find out everybody else sleeps like you, puts their pants on like you do. You're not that special. <laughs> Make sure that your inner circle loves the Lord. Well, Pastor JC, I got my friends. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have to have just Christian friends. That's good. I, I agree. You don't have to have just Christian friends. I think you got to get out there. You got to meet people who don't know the Lord. You got to bring them to transitions. You got to pay their way to retreat. You got to get them to connectors. You got. That's great. That's great. That's great. But I know what the word tells me too is that Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man who doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked. You got to get around some people who know their word and their Lord. You have to realize that these relationships, these godly relationships, will expose your weaknesses, but also will enhance your strengths. You won't realize how weak you are, but you also won't realize how special and unique you are until you begin to share what God has deposited in you on behalf of others. <clears throat> if Jabin just sat in his room and like rocked out on his guitar but never shared it no one would ever know what he's bringing to the table in the kingdom of God and I know there's some people with talent they're just playing in their room they're, they're amazing in their room but they, they don't have the guts to step out and be critiqued it happens but nobody gets better without feedback and finally God himself is in community Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So you're going to tell me that you are an exception from even God's standards and desires and plan? Let me pray for you. Javen, come, come on up, brother. You guys appreciate this guy? Yeah. He's so lovely, man. He's just worship is awesome. I don't know. I couldn't give you one thing for you guys to... Settle with God tonight. Maybe it's a pride thing. Maybe it's an insecurity thing. Maybe it's a challenge that says, stop being so dang afraid and be who you are. People are just as imperfect as you are in here. But you got to give each other a chance. You got to give each other an opportunity to speak into each other's life. Love, hope, community, happiness, joy, the word, Panera, whatever it is, man. Jack's coffee, whatever. You're missing out. You're missing out. And maybe this isn't for the majority of you because Transitions is really a lively, super friendly place. Maybe a lot of you here are in, you know, you're in crowded loneliness. Maybe you're a leader here tonight. You're wearing a blue t-shirt tonight with a funky arrow on the front. And you are experiencing crowded loneliness because there's a part of your life that kills you and you want to please the Lord. But maybe you're a man. you got to get out with some guys for three hours before you actually share something. You know. But I'll tell you this.
I'm a rifle preacher and I throw a lot out there. And maybe one of the pellets from the rifle tonight hits you. Focus on that one thing. It, 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 because that's up to the Holy Spirit wherever it lands. Maybe you didn't like something I said tonight. David Wilkerson's grandfather said this to David Wilkerson one day when people began to just speak, you know, talk back to David while he was preaching on the street. He said, David, whenever you throw a rock into a pack of dogs, the dog that barks the loudest is the dog that got hit. And maybe tonight you didn't like something that I said, but that's probably because it hit you hard. Mm -hmm. Get out of the facade, man. Start letting people speak into your blind spots. Stop being a loner. And trust the grace of God for the unknown areas of our lives that no one else can see and not even us. We wrestle not, but we put on the armor of God. Lord, make us closer. Make us real and vulnerable, God. Because we're only as strong as our weakest link. And I want transitions to be stronger than ever, Lord. Father, as, as our ministry gets bigger, it also has to get smaller. As it extends further and further and it grows numerically, we have to grow tighter into smaller groups and intimacy and closeness, confession, trust, vulnerability. In Jesus' name.